Diabetic peripheral neuropathy is a major complication of chronic diabetes, which affects the peripheral nerves and leads to loss of sensation, numbness, and pain in the legs, feet, or even hands. Although this complication is estimated to affect approximately 70% of people with diabetes, not all persons who develop this complication experience serious pain. The evidence that is accumulating shows that diabetic peripheral neuropathy is most common among people who have been living with diabetes for at least 25 years or thereabouts. This explains why the majority of people who suffer the condition are people above 50. Diabetic peripheral neuropathy is caused by prolonged elevated blood sugar, which affects the nerves and tiny blood vessels capillaries, particularly in the extremities. This causes direct damage to the nerves that control sensation and touch resulting in poor sensation in the extremities, initiating the beginnings of having feet problems. Additionally, the circulatory problems that are common among people with diabetes are a significant factor leading to peripheral neuropathy. There are other causes of peripheral neuropathy such as metabolic abnormalities and autoimmune disease. Traumatic injury to nerves has also been documented as a contributing factor. A principal symptom of diabetic peripheral neuropathy is the pain in the region which the affected nerve serves. The initial symptoms at the early stages may be unnoticeable to negligible. However, as it develops into a chronic condition, especially if left untreated, it can quickly become crippling. Some of the common symptoms include tingling sensation, numbness, or pain in the hands, fingers, toes, legs, and feet. There is also the high incidence of wounds that won't heal, which opens the subject to infection and ultimate gangrene, leading to amputation and being in a wheelchair. Although the rate of amputation due to diabetes is on a downward trend, diabetic peripheral neuropathy still remains the major cause of amputation in the general US population. The decline has been attributed to the improving, better management of the risk factors that lead to diabetes. The significance of this to both patients and their health providers is that aggressive medical management of blood sugar is a practical approach to chip away at the complications of diabetes. Since the condition is caused by a prolonged elevation of blood glucose, the first treatment approach should be focused on bringing the blood glucose down to the normal range in order to prevent further complication. Most doctors would prescribe medication for their diabetes patients. Recently we are beginning to see more acceptance and practice of natural treatments and lifestyle changes.